guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashanti. If you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say. You already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? If you're new here, I do self-care videos, vlogs, style, plus size style videos, all that jazz. So if that interests you, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did put on my eyebrows just for this video. But I actually just got out the shower and I been wanting to film this video for a while but I think I'm going to divide it up into two videos because it's quite a lot of products. As you know from the title I'm going to be talking about luxury skincare or body care items and if they are worth the money. Hit or miss baby. I don't know about y'all but I am really into shower talk, self-care TikTok, black girl luxury TikTok, and some of these products I see literally all over those particular hashtags and niches. So um, I spent a lot of money investing in some of these products and I'm gonna let you know what my faves were, which ones I would have left at the store, what I use, the ones that I do like for, and if I would buy them again. So if that interests you, Let's get started. Okay, so while I'm doing this video, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna moisturize because I, like I said, just got out the shower and my skin is dry. And I like, okay, so when I first get out the when I get out the shower, I dry myself off. I usually do this with no clothes on. Um, but for the sake of this video, I already put my loungewear on. I got the skims everything fits everybody top and just like some Nike shorts on. Usually I wear some kind of skins skims combination because I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I do, I'm a Skims fan, okay? Like, I love the Skims loungewear, housewear. Um, Jeff loves when I wear this stuff around the house and it just, it's not even like sleazy or anything. It just looks so good. I, it's just cute, you know what I mean? It just makes you feel good. It just makes you feel cute. It makes you feel like, you know, kind of put together but not put together, right? So let's start with, I think I'm gonna, since I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with Fenty, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna start this video off with the Fenty products that I bought. So the first product that I got is this Fenty Rough Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. And this is what it looks like. In this bottle you get six ounces and it retails for $32. Now it has a smell, it does have a smell to it. It's more like, a, I thought it was like a fruity smell when I first got it, but it's more like, it's more like a shea slash fruit, like shea and fruit scrub. It is a very hydrating scrub. When you take it out of the tube, this is what it looks like. Um, it doesn't have a very strong smell like how the, uh, I actually didn't like the Fenty Skin face wash. Um, because it was so much scent to it. So this one is a little bit lighter on the scent. And this is what it looks like on my fingers. Uh, the exfoliation in it is more of a, the exfoliation you can see like the sugar and stuff in it. When you take a small amount of it, it does look like, like it's like super, super exfoliating. But this is very gentle. And for me, because I have such dry skin on my body, my body is naturally dry. I prefer a much more coarse physical exfoliant, if that makes sense. Um, this one is definitely, it smells good. Um, I'm not sure if I would pay, how much did I say this was? $32 for this particular scrub. Um, there are some, it's very, very similar to the Tree Hut scrub. Tree Hut is basically a dupe to this. So I, I don't find myself reaching for this particular scrub all the time. So I'm gonna say this one is a miss. It's not, nothing really, next level about it to me. I was expecting this to be a little bit more, I guess, intense for the price, but it, it definitely wasn't. So I would say that this is, if I had to rate it out of 10, TikTok made me try it. I probably, I'd probably rate this scrub probably like a, a five, a good five out of 10. It's not a terrible scrub, but I would not pay over $10 for this scrub. This is definitely more like a Target kind of quality of scrub in my opinion. And I love Rihanna, but this one, mm -mm. now, this is called the Butter Drop. Now, this, oh my God, first of all, I see this all over, all over TikTok, like uh, literally all over TikTok. This is the Butter Drop Body Cream. This costs even more than the body scrub. It retails for $39. I got it at Sephora, and I will say, I love it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is one of those ones where you, if you want to add oils to it, you can, but you really don't need to. I don't know if you guys can see how moisturized my arm is, but it is 
so nice on the skin. It doesn't smell like anything, so it's good for all skin types. Um, it, it has it has literally doesn't have any perfume in it, so it's unscented. So when you put your perfume and everything on, it's gonna blend. It's not gonna like change the smell of it. It's gonna smell so good, and you'll be like really hydrated. You see how? Look at my arm, y'all. You see that sheen? And it absorbs into my skin very well, very well. It doesn't sit on top of my skin. So for the amount that you get, you get, how, much, how many ounces is this? The butter drop comes in six and a half ounces. It's in, I love the packaging for it. You can really, you don't really have to, if you have nails, um, you don't have to like dig your finger in there. I actually dig my knuckle in there and um, you don't really need a lot. So for this, I would rate this probably like an 8 out of 10 because I have I have had better, but I would pay 40 bucks for this. This is this one is worth $40. I would definitely I love the way this feels. It feels makes your skin feel so soft. Um especially if you've just exfoliated. So I can understand how that goes well with the body scrub. So I would definitely recommend the butter drop so the next product i'm going to talk about is the brazilian bum bum cream the rio de janeiro people have been talking about this for years okay and i personally when i first smelled it years ago it really wasn't my in my particular taste because i prefer stuff that smells more clean um fresh floral type of scents or whatever so like um this smells like this literally smells like a cookie, right? But when I tell you, as far as the scents go, 10 out of 10, this makes you smell edible. And it actually mixes, even though it has such a very strong scent to it, if you are not into hot, like, really strong smelling lotions or body creams, this is not the one for you because this one has a very, very strong smell and it literally lasts all day like it lasts all day it doesn't fade away at all i i actually like when i smelled it on my skin like mixed into my skin it actually smelled very good to me now it's not the most like it's not as hydrating to me as the butter drop oh but it smells so good like it's my this mixes with baccarat so, oh Woo, if you want, let me tell you, if you want the ultimate combination, like if you want your man to like be all up on you, mix that Baccarat with this, um, with this bum bum cream, man. So like, so this small one, I got the small one because I knew I didn't, I didn't really know like if I was going to like love it, like love it, love it. Um, this one is only two and a half ounces, I think. I'll have it linked below, but I'm pretty sure this one is only like two ounces and some change. And one thing I will say is when you use it, try to put the container down because I did drop it and it's much more loose than the Fenty. So like when it fell, like a lot of it came out, I had to like kind of scoop it back into the container. But this, oh man, it smells like cookies. Like, but it doesn't smell like, like how when you walk into Bath and Body Works, like, you know what I mean? Like where it's like, too overwhelming like it smells like like it smells like it literally smells like you've been laying on the beach all day i don't know like i don't know but i do like it um if i had to rate this i think i would rate this one a i think this one will be an eight seven and a half out of ten only because it's not as hydrating as the fenty one um i find myself definitely having to mix oil with this like a body oil with this just to get the hydration that i need for dry skin but um if you wanted the small one like as a hand cream or anything like that to keep in your purse this right here is really good especially with all that sanitizing that you're doing i would definitely carry this one as like a hand cream Ooh. the next group of products are all going to be from way um this is jen atkins hairline but she also has body products and i've always seen especially on luxury black girl tiktok all of the whey products so for the whey products i got all of the body products except for the perfume the 
I got the chill pills. This is what these look like. Let me show you what they look like in size. I also got the body cleanser. I got the scalp and body scrub. And I also got the body cream. Let's start in order of your bath. Okay, so the chill pills, I would personally say if you like bath bombs, if you're a bath bomb kind of girl and you love like taking a bath, the chill pills are probably not worth the money. The chill pills re retailed for $30 and you only get six of them and they're kind of small so i would personally pass on the chill pills if you are a person that uses bath bombs all the time because you will go through these in a week like if you take a bath every day if you're one of those people that take a bath every day you're going to go through them in a week or more than if you know what i mean so i don't know if those are worth the money and now my favorite product out of all of these is the body cleanser it has a very it's a very gentle cleanser um so i use this as my second cleanser i actually use a uh um i like the native and the jason brands for my initial cleanser but for when i'm like after I've, I've exfoliated and I cleaned my body. This one is known to have balancing properties. So I actually really like um, how it adds moisture back to my skin. The smell is very fresh. Um, this this particular brand, every every item that I've gotten smell literally smells like the spa. Like if you go to a, a professional salon, you know how like there's, you know how you smell like the salon when you leave a hair salon and you smell like the spa when you leave a spa, but when you go home and you do those same treatments, whether it's your hair or your body, you don't smell exactly like this smells like after I take a shower and I use all these products, especially if I use all of them, this smells like I just left the spa every time. Like mm, it's very, it's very light floral. It, honestly, like I think she makes a perfume in this scent and I would buy it. I would buy it as a as a great everyday scent. The next product I got is the body scrub. Now the body scrub, out of all the body scrubs that I got, this is like my favorite. Yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. You can see I've been really digging in there and using it. Um, it's a super, super hydrating, hydrating body scrub and it actually foams too. So you can use this after you've washed um, and oh, man, it just feels so now you see what I was talking about, like versus the Fenty one, you see how like I, I, I just took the same amount of scrub as I did the Fenty one. It has much larger physical exfoliants in it. And then when you wet it, it's definitely going to foam up in the shower. Okay. Once you wet your skin, um, or while you're in the shower, it's going to do this very light foaming. But you see, it doesn't like wash away the exfoliants that are in it. Like it still exfoliates your skin really good. I love this um, body scrub. This is the best body scrub. Like this one, the body scrub retails for $38. This one was worth the money. Like I would totally, and you don't need a lot of it at all. Like, um, I've had this for about three weeks now and that's how much I've used over three weeks for my entire body. Like you do not need a whole lot of it at all. I, ooh, I love, and it smells so good. Yeah, so like a daily exfoliator, if like you just like to scrub your body, just make sure like you're nice and exfoliated before you, especially before you go to bed, this is the one, okay? This is, this is a 10 out of 10. Worth every penny, 10 out of 10. The next product I got was the body cream that this is more for someone who doesn't really have a problem with moisture. This one is a very thin type of body cream. So it's not as hydrating as the other ones. Um, it doesn't have like a lot of, yeah, if you have dry skin, you would, I, I definitely have to oil, add oil to this to make it as hydrating as I need it to be. It's not as penetrating as the Fenty one. So um, I would probably, if you have dry skin, I would probably pass on this one, especially for the price. It retails for $38 as well. So this particular one, like you don't need a lot of it, but, or I feel like you need more of it if you have dry skin. So I personally 
wouldn't recommend this to anybody that has dry skin. It's nice to have, but it's not like if you had to pick something, if you wanted to just pick one or two things from the uh, line, I probably would not. This probably wouldn't be my first pick. Like if I had to only, if I had to tell you to only pick two things from the entire line, I would get the body, the body cleanser and the body scrub. Those would be my top two. So the last two items that I got, um, that I've seen a lot of influencers talk about, especially on TikTok, even on YouTube, are these two exfoliators. Now, I'm gonna talk about this one first, the Skin Fix Exfoliator. Now, this is the Skin Fix, ex the Skin Fix Resurface Plus Glycolic Renewing Scrub. This retails for $30. And this is for, this is the scrub that I would recommend before, your sh before you shave. I don't recommend using this every single day. Um, I don't think you need to, but this is very, very good for when you're about to shave. So the way you use this and make sure you follow the directions on the bottle before you use it. This one is recommended as a pre-shower and in-shower exfoliator. It has physical and chemical exfoliants. So that means that it's got the physical beads in them, but it also has um, chemicals in it that will exfoliate your skin as well. So because it's a, du a dual exfoliator i recommend using this before you shave i literally just used it a few minutes ago before i got in the shower and when i tell you this is the this is the smoothest shave i've ever had i mean i didn't even need a uh, shaving cream like so i used it as recommended um this is what it looks like out, out the container this is what it's gonna look like on your on your skin before you get into the water it's got smaller beads in it so it's very gentle i would categorize this as a light to medium scrub once you put water on it it's going to turn into this very light it doesn't even foam for real and it's just going to leave your skin feeling like super soft like even my hand right now just feels super soft having just done that if you have a problem with like strawberry skin or uh just not getting the closest shave that you could. This is really gonna lift up the hairs and get all the dead uh, skin cells off and then allow you to like expose like brand new skin. Like this feels like, my legs feel like butter, okay? Like, like butter. I think I think you guys are really gonna like this. I think this one is worth the money. Um, I just wouldn't use it every day. Uh, I would probably use this maybe like once or twice a week depending on how often you need to shave. It says you can use it up to three times a week so I wouldn't use it more than that but I would definitely use it based on the instructions. Apply it to your skin prior to getting into the shower and then allow the water to activate the rest of the exfoliants in the scrub. This stuff is this stuff is good. It doesn't have any scent to it at all. Um, this one is the cape is the first a beauty kp bump eraser this is what it looks like it retails for 28 dollars is a little bit less expensive this one i would recommend for somebody who has um a problem with like back knee or uh any bumps like on your chest especially if you break out from like your perfume or anything like that like any bumps on your chest or even your bikini line this works wonders i um some some of my perfumes i forget to um like i cannot i'm really not supposed to apply perfume to my chest especially right here in the middle because I will break out immediately and sometimes I forget depending on like what I'm doing and how, how I'm getting dressed and everything and this one I find helps clear that up very quickly um, if I find that I've uh, started to break out on my chest I just apply a little bit of it it's this gray scrub and it's very, very, very uh, fine, very super fine, but it's very coarse too. This is a good physical, physical, physical scrub, but I usually just apply this to my chest wherever or wherever I need to, where that's um, broken out and rinse it off. And then by the morning, it's gone. This is more like of a spot treatment type of scrub. It's not really one for your whole body unless you get like bumps all over your whole body but this is definitely good for if you have breakouts on on their actual body especially on your back the issue with any back knee or any bumps or breakouts all over anywhere on your body this is the bomb for that and the directions for this say once or twice a week so this is definitely for um spot treatments i don't think you really need this i wish it came it came in a smaller container because this one you get eight ounces for twenty dollars but or for twenty eight dollars but this one's definitely worth the money for those that need like 
any kind that have an issue with breakouts. If I had to recommend a routine through these uh, products, I would say Skin Fix Exfoliator, and then the Whey Body Cleanser, then the Whey Body Scrub, and the Fenty Skin uh, Butter Drop. If I had to recommend a routine using the high-end products, these would be the ones that I would recommend. If you only wanted a high-end body care routine, these are the four products that I would recommend out of all the ones that I purchased. Um, I will be doing a affordable version of this video, so stay tuned for that. That's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!